Hello YouTubers, beer geeks, and beer hounds alike. Bill here. We're going to do a beer review. All right. This is a special one here today, okay? I like those. Let's try these. There we go. Yes. Much better. Okay. Do I have my tweaker light here with me? It's all right. I should be okay. So we have one here from Russian River Brewing Company. It's the um, uh, Pliny the Elder for President 2024. It's a double, it's a triple dry hopped IPA. And it says, Hop care for everyone. All right. So they're from um, Santa Rosa, California. This comes in at 7% alcohol by volume. I've had Pliny the Elder before, so, but I don't know if this is the same. I think it's just a label. Uh, that might be different. I'm not sure, but I'm going to review it anyways because it's Pliny. That's the cap. Okay. And this is the cool looking label. I don't know if it's the same original Pliny the Elder, but that's a very patriotic label, which I like. I'm patriotic, obviously. So let's handle this puppy. This is a... Pliny the Elder is an old school West Coast style IPA. Has been acclaimed to be the best IPA ever in the world. So I would not disagree with that. So let's check it out. Let's see if it's the same. Got some smoke coming out there. Okay, I'm going to get a little photo shoot here real quick. Not sure how well of a president a beer would make, but hey, it's got, I would take Pliny, Pliny the Elder over who's in office right now, Mr. Zombie Man, Child Sniffer. Okay, cool. Mr. Inflation King. So, that's pretty cool. Don't know if I'll get the rest in there. But, nice head, not super duper tight. Um, that was a real easy pour. Um, it's frothy, kind of foamy, a little bit silky. Not real creamy, a little creamy maybe. But, uh, it's just a nice kind of light gold color. It looks spot on like a Westie should. Okay. Okay, there you have it. Just looks like a perfect West Coast style. Slight haze to it though, just very slight, okay? Check out, well, let's let you take a gander at it. They do look like beer. Looks like mighty good beer. All right. Let's check out the aroma. Pine. Some floralness. Piney floral. Maybe a little bit of bready mulch coming through. That's pretty much what I'm picking up. Maybe a little guava or something also. Kind of a guava note. Definitely like a hop oil kind of dankness coming off of it. Nice, sweet, resinous smelling hop dankness coming off it. Almost to the green hop note. It smells awesome. It smells more dank than I remember the original label. I don't know. Maybe it's different. I'm not sure, but it sure smells good. Let's get a hit. Cheers. Oh, man. Wow. Damn. 
that is amazing. Really is. Definitely a, a, a step above pretty much the rest, man. Wow. I think it's more dank than the original label of Pliny the Elder. I do. Wow. That's got that dank, green, resinous. Like you just dipped a tea bag of hops in there, man. Wow. Not talking pellets here. I'm talking like raw, right off the vine into the beer. That's awesome. Super nice. Super duper nice. If a beer could be president, it would definitely be this one. No doubt about it. Wow. Unreal. Well, pretty much just blew almost all West Coast style IPAs out of the water. Minus a bubble gut beer. That is my current champ. This is right there with it though. The current champ for me is a bubble gut uh, craft beer. It's called Mile High Club. It's a West Coast style IPA. It's um, it's right there with this one. Wow, medium mouthfeel, crisp and refreshing on the finish. No booziness at all. I love that dankness though. That just danky dank, pine just. Dank pine, you know, almost marijuana. Yeah, it's got that marijuana kind of character to it, like a good indica. Really, really freaking good, man. Look at that lacing. I love it. I love it. It's worth, I paid um, like seven, eight bucks for this. This, what, uh, what's the size here? It's like 16 and a half, almost 17 ounces, I think. Um, it was almost eight bucks, man, at um, to or, uh, Whole Foods. Okay, bottled on 10, 9, 24 or so. It's a couple months old already, but it still tastes awesome. Uh, I'm looking for the size here. The bottle. Hey, even put the time eight forty-five, nine. Nice. Um, here we go. One pint plus one point two five fluid ounces. Okay. Amazing. Totally awesome. See, I'm saving that bottle. I'm gonna save that. That's a collector bottle. So I'm gonna swill it one more time. We'll wrap this puppy up. Cheers. Solid ring. I mean, solid. Just like Mile High Club. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Mm, damn. That's dank. Love it. Well, pretty much that's what I got on this puppy. Uh, on a scale of one to five stars, two and a half BNC average, this is definitely a five star beer easily. So, this is in the top five best West Coast style IPAs I've ever had. No doubt about it, man. Damn good. So hit like, subscribe, little bell for notifications. I do appreciate that. I do appreciate all the subs that joined recently. Welcome. And y'all have an awesome day. Cheers.